Hello, my lovely nature explorers, and welcome to another episode of Animal Hour. Let's begin. So, today we have a wild word problem to complete. We're going to learn about our new mystery animal, and as always, at the end of my video, I'll have some optional at-home activities you can do with your family if you choose to. Okay, so let me get my little pen ready, and then we will read the problem together. Okay, it says four salamanders were under a log. Nearby, nine more salamanders were by the creek. How many salamanders are there all together? So we, we know that we are starting with four salamanders. It's good to highlight important information. So we know that we start with four salamanders. And it says nearby there were nine, and our key word here is more. Nine more salamanders were by the creek. How many salamanders are there all together? So, in past episodes, we've talked about our magic math words. All together gives us a big hint to what kind of problem this is. So, it's not asking us how many went to weigh. It's asking us how many salamanders there are all together. All addition really is, is just taking two groups of objects and combining them together. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this problem. So I have our two 10 frames here. We know that each of these 10 frames equals um, 10. And so together, all of these equals 20. So to begin, we're going to just draw our, um, our chips or our um, circles. They don't have to be perfect, but I like to make sure that they're, tr they're kind of uniform to stay um, organized. So here we go. One, two, three and four. So those are four salamanders that we saw on the log first. And then it says nearby there are nine more. So let's add nine more. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we get nine. Okay. So there are a few ways um, we can solve this problem using our 10 frames. The first way is to supersize, which is to look with our eyes um, and know what number that is. So without even counting, we know a full 10 frame is 10. So we know that there's 10 salamanders for sure. So then we can use the strategy called counting up. So starting at 10, we can count up from there. Okay, ready? So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So we know that um, there are three down here. So using our subitized method, we know 10 up here. We um, used our counting on strategy starting at 10 and we added, we counted three more to get 13 salamanders. So our equation for this would be, um, uh, we started with four and then we, we found nine more. And that would equal 13 salamanders. Great job, my wonderful friends. Okay, so using that information, can you guess what our animal of the day will be? If you guess it's, if you, excuse me, if you guess salamander, you would be correct. So today we're going to be paying attention to the spotted salamander. This is an amphibian. Um, they are carnivorous, which means they eat meat. And they live up to 20 years in the wild, which is amazing. They can grow up to seven inches long, and they are about the size of a teacup. So if you if you happen to have a teacup in your house, um, you can grab that out of the cupboard. And just for reference, that's how big they they can be. So they're about the size of a teacup. So I got all this information from NationalGeographic.com. They have some wonderful pictures and maps. So if you're looking for more learning, definitely check out their website. So. The spotted salamander can reach nine, up to nine inches in length, and they're basically in what we call mature deciduous forests from eastern Canada. That's a big word, but that just basically means a thick forest with pine trees. Um, so they are all up from uh, Canada all the way down the eastern and midwestern United States. So I actually pulled up a little map for you. So this right here is America, and anywhere that it's red, it's North America, anywhere that it's red is where these spotted salamanders live. So they um, will populate forests and mountains, 
but they're commonly found in low-lying um, forests near floodplains, which that's a lot of big words, but basically they're found in forests near wetlands, so anywhere that you would need your rain boots to go through, very swampy, marshy areas, they like to be near the water because they're amphibians, like we said. So um, mother salamanders lay up to 200 eggs at a time, which are encased in a jelly-like coating. The coating helps protect the eggs from predators like fish, turtles, aquatic insects, birds, frogs, and crayfish. So we know that these are called, um, that at this stage in their life, they're um, prey, which is food for other animals. But this jelly-like coating helps protect them. And remember, they're um, amphibians, which means they are born in the water. So that is why um, the jelly-like substance on the outside also helps protect them and um, help them in the water. So a few weeks after being laid, the eggs hatch. Um, larvae spotted salamanders have feathery gills on the outside of their bodies. They live underwater, feeding and growing for up to four months. So juvenile um, salamanders lose their gills and climb onto land. When they reach adulthood, they are able to reproduce. Spotted salamanders can live up to 20 years. And this little guy says, that's what a baby salamander looks like? Yes, so this is what their eggs look like. It kind of just looks like goop, but inside those little black dots are all baby salamanders. Okay, so I found some really great pictures online. This is part of our activity today if you choose to, um, to do it. That's wonderful, but if not, that's okay. So these pictures are just an in-depth um, version of what they look like. So we saw a picture of the egg earlier. This is a picture of a larva. Um, when they're first born, they have the gills, the feathery gills, um, and then they also have that tail to help them swim and propel themselves. Um, this is more of a uh, immature uh, version of a salamander. Um, he still has his gills, but he's starting to uh, begin to transition on land. And then we still have a juvenile salamander right here. He has transitioned from being under the water to on land. And you can tell that his spots aren't fully developed yet. That's something that comes with adulthood. So we have our full, fully um, adapted to land adult spotted salamander right here. He's super cute. So just a quick review. Amphibians are cold-blooded vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. They spend the first part of their lives underwater, breathing with gills, those feather-like gills that we talked about. Then the rest of their, their lives are spent on land, breathing with lungs. We know that um, cold-blooded means that they depend on whether it's hot or cold outside, so um, they are dependent on their environment to keep them warm. There are multiple types of spotted um, salamanders. When I learned this, I thought it was very cool. There's the blue spotted salamander and then the yellow spotted salamander. I thought they were really pretty, especially the blue one. Um, also, there are different types of salamanders. The spotted salamander is not the only one. If you've seen Frozen 2, there is a fire salamander in the movie, which I think he is super cute. Um, they don't obviously look like that in the wild, but I love that Disney um, took that character and found inspiration from salamanders. So if you're interested in learning more about Fire salamanders, definitely check that out on National Geographic or with a quick Google search with your parent. And finally, my friends, we are on to our optional activities. I found a really fun free episode of the Wildcrats called Activate Reptile Creature Power. The link is in the description below. Also, I have a um, free worksheet called Life Cycle of a Salamander that you can print out in color for further learning. And I think those are really fun. So. If you would like to um, participate in those activities, feel free to. If not, I hope you have a fun and safe day. Happy learning. I hope that you're keeping busy inside, exploring nature when it's um, nice out. And I hope that uh, you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. We'll see ya.